Hi everyone, my name is Alyssa and I am workshop chair of Rowan University's 3D Printing Club. Today I'll be showing you how to make a planter on Onshape for Earth Day. So let's get started and let me show you a preview of the design. So here's the design right here. It's just a cute little pot and it can be personalized with text. So now we're gonna get started on the tutorial. This design is perfect for beginners. So don't worry if you don't have any Onshape um, experience. So first, when you open Onshape, you should see this page and you're gonna go up into the top left-hand corner and click the Create button. Once you've clicked it, a drop-down menu should appear and you just wanna click on Document. Then you wanna name your document. I'm just gonna call mine 3 dpc Planter, And then you wanna hit OK. After your workspace loads, I'm going to go to the top right hand corner where this cube is right here and I'm going to click front so that it shows this display. Next, I'm going to go up into the top left hand corner and click the sketch button and then it's going to ask you to choose a sketch plane and I'm just going to click the front plane right here. Next, I'm taking the line tool, which is in the top left hand corner as well. And once I click on it, I'm going to start from the origin. Once you're on top of it, it should highlight yellow. And then you want to click and then drag out. Now, you don't have to worry about how long your lines are right now because we're going to dimension them later. Next, you want to go from this blue dot right here, which is the end point of the line that we just made. And you want to drag upwards and diagonal. Now you just wanna connect this point back to the Y axis. Make sure that it's parallel to the first line that we made. And then back down. So it's a complete shape and it should look like a trapezoid. Next, we're gonna take the dimension tool and we're going to click this bottom line right here. And we're going to make it 1.5 inches. Next, we're going to dimension this diagonal line right here, and I'm going to make it 3.2 inches. And then I want to dimension this angle right here between these two lines that we just dimensioned. So I'm going to click this line, the 1.5 inch line, and the 3.2 inch line, and this should, this should happen when you click both. Then I'm just going to make this angle right here 105 degrees. And there you have your first sketch. Now you just want to have, now you just want to click the green checkbox once you have something that looks like this to approve the sketch. Now I'm going to start another sketch and I'm going to hit the sketch button once again. And I'm going to select the front plane as the plane for sketching. Then I'm clicking the line tool once again and I'm going to click this point right here that's in the middle and once it highlights yellow you know that you're on top of it and I'm going to drag up just a little and then I'm going to drag over. We're creating the rim right now so you want this line that you just drew to be a little longer than the top of the other shape that you had previously so that it overhangs a bit. And then I'm going to draw another line down that is the same length as the first one that we just drew over here. And then I'm going to connect the whole thing back to this point right here to make a rectangle. Now we're going to dimension this once again. So I'm going to select one of the lines, which is the height line, and I'm going to make it 0.6 inches. And then I'm going to select this length right here with the dimension tool, and I'm going to make it 2.47 inches. Now it should look like this, and you're just gonna hit that green checkbox once again to approve the sketch. Now I'm going to make a third sketch, and I'm gonna hit that sketch button once again, and choose the front plane as the sketch plane, and click the line tool. Now you wanna go to where the origin is, and go on the Y axis just a little bit above the origin, and draw out. 
You're following the outline of the shape that you currently have, except you are going all the way up to the rim right now. We are creating the hollow inside of the pot. Um, so once we revolve everything, we'll remove the inside. So you wanna have another trapezoid shape on the inside and you just wanna connect all these points like this. So this dark gray area is the shape that we just drew and we're gonna dimension these lines. Starting with the very baseline of the first sketch that we made, I'm going to click it. And then I'm also going to click the base of the shape that we just drew so that it goes in between. And I'm going to make it 0 0.37 inches. I'm gonna make the space in between the wall the same. So I'm also going to make, whoops. Sorry, I did the wrong thing. So I'm also going to make it 3.7 inches, I mean 0.37 inches. And then just to double check that this is 105 degrees, we're going to click in between the two lines. Once you have this, you just wanna hit the checkbox once again to approve the sketch. Now that you have these three sketches, you're done with the sketching and now we can revolve everything. So go up here to the top left-hand corner and click the revolve button. And then first you just wanna select sketch one and I'm also gonna select sketch two, which is the rim. And then the red box in the revolve box is asking for the revolve access. So just click the red box right here and it should appear blue once you're in it. And then just click a line that's on the Y axis and it should immediately happen and it should look like this. Now that that's done, you wanna approve the sketch by clicking the green checkbox and now you want to create another revolve. So now that you have this, we want to create the hollow inside. As you can see, it's not there right now. It looks like this. And so I'm just going to click sketch three as the face that I want to revolve and then Right here are some options that say new, add, remove, and intersect, and you wanna choose the remove. Next, you wanna click revolve axis, and you just wanna make one of the sketches visible. So I'm gonna make sketch three visible, and you just wanna click the eye that's crossed out so that you can click on the line for the revolve axis. Now that you have that, it should be highlighted red and it's gonna ask you for the merge scope, but we're just gonna click merge with all. Once you do that, you should see that you have a hollow inside and then you wanna press the green check box. Now here's what the basic planter looks like, just a cute little pot. Um, if you wanna add some text, then I will show you how to do that. Um, so first you wanna to go to this right up here where I have ST, but it will probably just be a little dotted box with a plus sign. Um, and then you wanna hit the down and then add custom features. Then you're gonna type in PP dash surface text dash beta. And then you're gonna search Once it loads, you just wanna click the first one and then you wanna click surface text right here. Once you've done that, you can go back to this drop down menu right here and it should be right in here. So I'm gonna click surface text and this box should appear. 
Now it's going to ask for the baseline, which is the line where you want your text to sit on. So I'm selecting the bottom of the rim right here. And then it's going to ask for the base surface, which I want my text on this, the rim as well. So I'm going to select the surface of the rim. So if we zoom out, we can see that there are some words and right now it says change me. So we're going to change that and I'm going to put 3D PC, but you can add whatever you want. Once you have that, you can see that it goes all the way around the pot, which isn't what I want. So where it says fit, I'm going to cl click it and a drop down menu should appear and I'm going to click center. Now it will go to the left side. So you just wanna go over here and click left on this cube so you can see where your text is. And now I'm going to make the text a little bigger. Um, so you can just play around with this. I'm going to make it 0.5 inches. And now it should look like this. You can also change the style of your font um, by clicking the font drop down menu. And you'll see that it will change. And then I want this to be centered in between um, the baseline and the top of the rim. So I'm gonna to go to baseline offset right here and I'm going to make it 0 0.05. So now it's right there in the middle. And there you have it, just press the green checkbox and now you have your finished pot. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you like this tutorial, then you should go to the channel and check out the rest of the tutorials that we have. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me and have a nice day.